Thank you very much, Pak Harry. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, now I want to talk to you about the how does forest conversion to smallholder rubber and oil palm plantation affect the greenhouse gas emission in Jambi. Why we do this uh, experiment in Jambi? That is because uh, we know from Margonoetal 2012, the rate of deforestation is quite high there. It's a, uh, and also uh, from that conversion, uh, usually forest was converted to the uh, rubber and oil palm plantation because those two kind of plantation are uh, very expensive and and uh, that's why uh, uh, the farmers uh, want to uh, plant it. And uh, from the uh, data, we know that uh, most of uh, oil palm plantation, it's about uh, 80, 67% uh, uh, belongs to the big company and the rest of it uh, belongs to the smallholders. While for uh, rubber plantation, most of the plantation uh, belongs to the smallholder. It's about 80% uh, of the total rubber plantation uh, smallholders. We run these experiments in the five different land use system, uh, which are forests, and then disturbed forests, and then uh, young rubber plantation, one year rubber plantation, and then a 20 years old rubber plantation, and eight years old oil palm plantation. Uh, we focus on the uh, smallholders plantation. Uh, all of the plantation uh, have never been fertilized before, but uh, because we also want to uh, quantify the effect of the intensification, so we applied uh, N fertilizer during this experiment. Uh, the rate is about uh, 33 kilogram N per hectare, which is it's, it's uh, quite low compared with the actual uh, practice that usually have done by the farmers. They usually apply 141 kilogram N per hectare uh, per year. And we have two kind of measurements. We have a, a monthly measurements and then a, a focus in oil palm plantation. We have the intensive measurements following the fertilizer application. And we found that uh, there is no land use effect uh, regarding the uh, all of the greenhouse gas emission that we assess. Uh, I think I should uh, explain that we measuring uh, nitrous oxide, methane, and carbon dioxide. The value does change, uh, but uh, statistically, it's uh, they are not significant. Uh, from here, uh, we highlight that uh, probably uh, in, the, in the condition when there is no uh, intensive uh, high addition and fertilizer to the, to the plantation, now actually the uh, greenhouse gas emissions is not changed much. But in the oil palm plantation, when we start to apply the, the fertilizer and we quantify the annual fluxes rate, uh, we found that uh, the emission factor is about 3.2%, uh, which, which is quite high compared with the actual emission factor uh, from the IPCC. If I'm not wrong, it's about 1.1%. It means that if we apply uh, and continue to increase the dosage, 
following the uh, common uh, and, uh, and fertilizer application. So, uh, for its uh, 141 kilogram N applied in the plantation, the emission will be about 4.4 uh, uh, kilogram nitrous oxide per hectare per year. Then if it's uh, the end fertilizer application was double, then it's increased. It means there is potential uh, potential danger here if we uh, make this uh, non-intensive uh, plantation become more intensive. Regarding with the environmental variable, uh, we found uh, that N2O fluxes more related to the uh, environmental variable that changed by the change of the land cover, such as uh, N from the standing, standing liter, and then air temperature, and then uh, interesting, it's also related with the termite as well. So the closer distance from the chamber measurement to the nest mount, the emission will be higher. Why we also uh, uh, quantify the effect of termites? Because in our sites, uh, we found a quite high uh, termite population. Regarding with the methane, the clay is the most important uh, environmental uh, variable which affect the, the methane. But if we look more detail uh, in oil palm plantation, we found the strong relationship between the N uh, availability uh, with the uh, methane fluxes. So the, the higher uh, ammonium in the soil, the lower uh, methane emission that we will uh, find. And regarding with the uh, carbon dioxide, we found uh, that uh, CN ratio, soil CN ratio, and then the nest population have the strong relationship with the annual carbon dioxide. Uh, for me, uh, that's all uh, the results that I can share with you. And thank you very much. So Any thanks, uh, Petri. Yeah. So it's very surprising that the uh, conversion from forest, I don't know how good or how bad forest, to the uh, small scale agriculture doesn't affect a lot or significantly the greenhouse gas emission in terms of nitrous oxide, carbon dioxide, and methane. So, so we allow to convert forest from to agriculture, small scale. Um, in terms of without contributing to the uh, global warming. So um, I invite uh, comments, uh, question. Yes, Hetty, thank you. Uh, thank you, this is an interesting study. I wonder whether you measure emission only from soil. Uh, do you also consider emission or uh, sequestration from the plants? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for the question. Uh, for this study, yes, we only focus on the uh, soil emission, and uh, we didn't we didn't uh, compile uh, and calculate the emission uh, and the stock from from the uh, trees in this study. But yeah, I I did the measurement of the uh, tree carbon stock as well, but. It's not compiled in this uh, paper yet. Yeah. So mostly coming from the soil yes. emission. Any more, Danny, please? Uh, thank you, Fitri. It's very interesting uh, presentation and research results. Uh, I think it's uh, recently in C4, maybe this sort of research is quite rare that we can find. Uh, I'm interested when you say that uh, if you increase the amount of fertilizer or composition of fertilizers to the plants, then it will also uh, have an effect to the 
uh, greenhouse emission to the emissions. So, what is the threshold of the fertilizer applications that you uh, find from your uh, research? Uh, in this study, we didn't we didn't uh, focus to find the you know the best uh, fertilizer application uh, doses for the the oil palm plantation, but I think yes, that is. I think uh, that should be uh, our next uh, focus to find the trade-off between the how many uh, and fertilizer that we should apply in the soil to get the uh, good productivity, but still uh, regarding with the uh, greenhouse gas emission, we get the uh, acceptable. Uh, emission. So will be kind of a trade-off between the productivity yes, of. Yes, but in this in this uh, experiment, we don't have uh, uh, the the experiment with the different doses of uh, the end fertilizer. Yeah. Any comment? Small scale, not a large scale. Small scale is okay. <laughs> not a large scale. Christine, do you have a question? Hi, thank you very much. It was very interesting. I'm, I'm just, I'm actually what, what, um, what you just mentioned is exactly the question I want to ask. So you, you're talking about small scale, um, but you're doing an experimental sort of application. Um, it suggests that this is what small scale would do, but it's not the same as what large scale. I, I want, I'd like to know why this is about small scale and not about fertilizer application to um, oil palm plantations in general, you know? Is, is there something specific about your research that would be only applicable to small scale and not to large scale, or are we talking about in, in any, in any um, size, say, plantation? Yeah, yeah we focus on, on the small holders uh, plantation in, in the small scales plantation because uh, we predict that in the future it will increase the amount of the local uh, uh, villagers or the the farmers, the, the local farmers, who uh, interested in uh, uh, plant the oil palm. So that is why then we uh, we want to assess uh, the effect. Uh, about how they apply fertilizer and the effect to the uh, greenhouse gas emission. And beside that, uh, regarding with the recent studies, uh, we found that it's still quite rare uh, to assess the effect of the land use change in the, in the, uh, from the forest to the small scale uh, plantation. That's why you focus on the small scale because there's not much study related to the uh, small scale. Yes, yes. May I just go ahead. So, is there something specifically about it? I mean, would you do you expect smallholders to apply fertilizer in a different way or to clear land in a different way from how large scale? Be I, I'm just I wonder why this is applicable to small scale and not to large scale. Your particular experiment. Yeah, because in in the small scale, uh, when they don't have money, they, they they will never apply fertilizer. They think they they have uh, you know for them that's okay as far as they can harvest the the fruit, the palm fruit. They get the money. They don't need to pay money to buy the fertilizer. But uh, no, around them. Uh, there are large company which have a really good uh, uh, land management and apply the fertilizers and uh, and some of the smallholders uh, start to practice it and uh, so we want to see if in the if in the you know in the condition when they never applied fertilizer and then they start to apply it. So what is the 
what is the effect? What is the trend? Is it the same? Like if they, if the smallholder have a, 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 which has a, a really good uh, land management and ha uh, they have a continuous uh, fertilizer application in the in the land, do they have a, a different? Of course, for for this step, uh, we cannot. Uh, compare directly with the large scale because it's still in the beginning in the uh, in, in the study mm -hmm. okay thank you um, any more comments but if you have a comments <laughs> of course you have not a comment but another question um, I wonder uh, if you can uh, maybe comment about the forest and disturbed forest because we have also some studies the disturbed forest. I will be interested to, to see, to, to understand your results in, uh, in Pasir Mayang, for instance. Yeah. Uh, the disturbed forest that we, uh, uh, the, our disturbed forest in Pasir Mayang is in the uh, succession period when we did the measurements. So it was locked in the past, but no, it start to recovery, and in terms of the tree diversity, I can say that uh, about uh, eighty percent of the uh, tree species in the in the natural forest uh, are there in 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 the disturbed forest as well. But in terms of the uh, tree biomass, uh, the natural forest is still. Uh, has a higher tree biomass compared to the disturbed forest. So it's not on the uh, pristine forest, but 80% uh, is in terms of species still there. <laughs> in, the, in the disturbed forest in Pasir Mayang. Eh? Yeah, uh, but uh, no, uh, unfortunately, uh, all of them are gone <laughs> because uh, soon after I finished the experiment, then the pristine forest and the disturbed forest has been uh, converted to the smallholder rubber plantation. It's not because your recommendation, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, any more comments? Yes, I think. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm interested on the soil type in the sites, whether they are uh, mineral soil or uh, peatland or, or mix, and what is the difference of the emission from those types of soil? Thank you. Uh, this experiment was conducted in the mineral soil, so we only focus on the mineral soil. Uh, there is another group that works in the peatland as well. Mm -hmm. The different in terms of the, the methane, I think uh, in the pit area, because they are in a, a close to the uh, unsaturated condition, so they will uh, emit higher methane. And usually in the more aerated soil, like in the mineral soil, the the soil uh, act as the sink of the methane. But in our study, it's, uh, it's interesting that uh, from those five uh, land use systems, two of them emit the, the methane. That is why then we also have the termite uh, measurements there, because uh, from the literature, termite also uh, one of the driver that emit the methane to the atmosphere. Uh, regarding the uh, N2O, it's really depend if the if the uh, pitland uh, had the fertilizer application as well. But uh, I think they will emit the higher nitrous oxide and then the 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 CO2 as well compared to the mineral soil. Because they have the source in the in the organic matter. Okay. Any more? 
no more. Okay, um, let's give a big applause to uh, Fitri Aweni for her, her research. <laughs>